Joseph C. Walsh, I'm the director and one of the producers of Lilies. This is actually the 20th anniversary um, of the French version of the play. Um, it was a great success for Michel Marc Bouchard, um, the playwright. Uh, it's one of Canada's most famous plays. Um, it was later translated into English um, and became a worldwide success again uh, in a different language. It's also been translated to Flemish uh, and to Japanese. Um, and it became a film in 1996 and it won the Canadian version of the Oscar for Best Film of the Year. an old school friend of his uh, to see a little theatrical event um, that he's put on with his fellow prisoners over the past three years. Um, the bishop comes thinking he's going to hear a confession and actually watches a play about his own life as a teenager um, when he played uh, a very strong part um, in the tragic events of a summer evening in 1912. Um, and so we begin in the prison and then we're taken to this beautiful world of Roberval in 1912 which is on the shore of Lac Saint Jean in Canada. Um, and we meet uh, an incredible array of characters. I think what initially drew me to Lilies as a play um, was that it's a very simple love story um, that takes place within the backdrop of a world of hypocrisy and small town politics. Um, but at the end of the day, our two lead characters um, share a love that is too special for this earth. Uh, I'm David Mint, I'm playing Count Valier de T. And I'm Dale Page, and I'm playing Simon Doucet. And it's the story of Simon and Valet's love. I think the obstacles they're facing as well when it comes to their relationship, I think, because they face quite a lot of obstacles in the way of and the way that people look at, at kind of homosexuality in them times. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting piece because the nature of the play within a play and the fact that it's all set within a men's prison, the the female parts are all played by male actors as well. So mm. Matt and myself both play women in the show, so that's the Countess, and I play um, oh, Mademoiselle Lydia de Rosier, who's a Parisian hot air balloonist, who's <laughs> great fun, she's got some great one-liners, um, and some very bitchy put-downs, which is uh, fabulous to play. Well, I'm playing the Countess, uh, who is the matriarch of the piece. Um, she's fascinating. I've loved playing her, loved every minute of playing her. Um, She's a lot of fun, but there's a lot of depth and a lot of darkness there. Oh, beloved, if indeed you do love me, let your love be shown unto me. I love you and shall wait for you forever. There's so much richness and depth to a piece, something that you come across very rarely in a piece of writing, I think. And um, it's kind of, it's universal themes because it's stuff that anyone gay or straight can identify with. It's, it's, there's a beautiful story about a mother and her love for and her relationship with her son. Um, there are universal themes of unrequited love, betrayal, lust, passion, true love, which all of us experience at some point in our lives. And I think the responses we've had from the audiences have been incredibly touching. No, completely. I mean, I think Talking about the romantic side of it, it really is one play that I've been involved in that I actually, it's created such an atmosphere for all of us, all the cast, um, where we've all felt quite impassioned and full of passion because of being involved in this mm. project. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's kind of reignited what is love about, and that's been uh, amazing. I think the play does have an attitude towards religion, but not in any um, pompous or dictatorial or tub-thumping way. Um, I think it. I think he's done a brilliant job of portraying people conflicted by their sexuality and their religious beliefs, without being judgmental in the play about that. 
It's engraved in my mind, my flesh, in my heart, in my soul, all the dirty things you've said about me. It's been a great cast, been a great ensemble, great production side as well, and the direct chorus. Uh, you know, it's been a fantastic team effort. And uh, I think the play talks so much about love, sexuality, faith, that, that it, it can affect anybody. And we have had terrific audience reaction, you know. We've had people in the audience gasping, crying, um, laughing hysterically in places, all sorts of reactions, but I mean, brilliant reactions. Yeah. Um, and I think the play is a very moving piece. And yeah, I hope people come away from the theatre thinking and questioning and also having had a good time. Um, we just can't wait to get to Greenwich, uh, to expand the show, open it up for that theatre, uh, a theatre which is very near and dear to my heart, um, and we can't wait to share it with a bigger audience there. Yeah.